Hi guys, welcome to another video from Little to Simple. It's not a secret that most of the general public doesn't like or even hates Wall Streeters and Occupy Wall Street movement in 2008, followed by many other protests in the past decade, are evidence of this dislike and hatred. Most of this dislike and hatred towards Wall Streeters stems from the common belief or perception that all the Wall Streeters are greedy exploitative and evil people who can go to any extent to make money and do not hesitate to throw common people under the bus for their benefit by pushing them into situations such as the 2008 mortgage crisis. We do agree that people are not always wrong in considering Wall Streeters as the bad guys but as with everything else in this world, there are exceptions, even in this case. And this video is about a Wall Streeter who work to do social good by financially empowering the common man. If you find this kind of videos to be interesting, then please explore our channel for many more interesting videos on the topics of personal finance, financial success stories, and business case studies. Now, let's roll. The Man Well, this video is about none other than the founder of Vanguard, John Bogle. But we are not making this video about him because he founded Vanguard. Instead, we are making this video about John Bogle because he introduced the concept of index fund investing. The most common investing advice that almost all retail investors get is to invest in an index fund and they are recommended mainly due to their low entry, exit and management costs and more or less guaranteed returns in the long term. As a matter of fact, even the most successful investors like Warren Buffett are huge fans of index fund investing and they recommend it often to everyone. As a result of all this hype and recommendations surrounding index funds, it becomes very difficult to believe that the concept of index fund investing did not even exist before 1974 when John Bogle introduced this concept through Vanguard. So it can be stated without a doubt that John Bogle revolutionized stock market investing and given the fact that a lot of the money that is invested in Vanguard index funds comes from retail investors like you and me, it is impossible to contest the fact that John Bogle is definitely a Wall Streeter who worked to do social good by financially empowering the common man. This is further reinforced by the fact that John Bogle passed on most of the Vanguard profits to its investors bringing fees for his funds to the minimum levels. This helped all investors get superior returns and this is the reason for why a man like him who was at the helm of one of the largest fund houses in the world with assets worth trillions of dollars under management died in 2019 with a modest net worth of about 80 to 100 million dollars. The problem Before John Bogle launched index funds Mutual funds in general charged a high fee and rarely outperformed the broader stock market. Since the fund managers deducted the fee from the fund's profits, a large chunk of profits were never passed on to the investors. But it is not correct to blindly blame all the fund managers for the high fee they charged. Mutual funds generally had high operating costs which made it impossible for them to charge a low fee. Since John Bogle had worked on Wall Street for over two decades before starting Vanguard, he was totally aware of the problems that the mutual funds at that point in time faced and why it was so difficult for them to overcome those problems. But what makes John Bogle different is that while all other mutual fund managers just followed the system, John Bogle wanted to reinvent the system and solve the problems of high fee and low returns while reducing the risks that investors got exposed to when they invested in mutual funds. The Simplest Solution John Bogle always believed that successful investing didn't require sophistication and complexity. Instead, all that was necessary was a healthy dose of common sense. This is quite evident from one of his quotes which goes as follows. My ideas are very simple. In investing, you get what you don't pay for. And John did solve two of the biggest problems that the mutual funds faced back in the day entirely through basic common sense. Once he understood 
that beating the broader market in terms of returns is extremely difficult if not impossible. He decided that it's better to invest in broader markets directly as it ensured returns that are directly correlated to broader markets. Since investing in broader markets did not require a lot of analysis or management as such, his operating costs came way down which in turn allowed him to offer Vanguard services to investors at a very low fee compared to other mutual funds. In this way, John Bogle solved the problems of low returns and high fee through simple common sense. Since Vanguard charged a low fee and offered better returns than most other actively managed mutual funds, retail investors literally flocked towards Vanguard's index funds. The most popular of them being Vanguard S&P 500 Index Fund, which tracks the top 500 publicly traded US companies. And the proof is in the pudding. Vanguard grew its assets from $1.8 billion at its start in 1974 to over $8.1 trillion in 2022, and hence has become one of the great success stories in the mutual funds industry. The Concerns a lot of people in the mutual funds industry have expressed their concerns about Vanguard becoming too powerful and their concerns are valid as Vanguard technically can move the markets with $8.1 trillion worth of stock that they manage as of 2022. Also, since index fund investing happens passively by simply investing in the broader markets without the need for any analysis and because a purchase stock stays in Vanguard's holdings for a very long time, there are concerns about how index funds that grow beyond a certain size might reduce the liquidity in the broader markets by reducing the trading volumes. The Future Despite the rising concerns around the rapid growth of index fund investing, Vanguard has been one of the largest beneficiaries of the retail investing boom that started in 2020. In between the years 2019 and 2022, Vanguard's assets under management grew by more than $3 trillion. This combined with increasing interest in index funds from the institutional investors and the fact that almost anyone with even a little investing knowledge is suggesting and preferring investing in index funds is only means that the future can be nothing but bright for index funds in general and Vanguard in particular as they are the market leader in index fund investing. At a time when most investing strategies do not even stay relevant for a decade due to rapidly changing market conditions, John Bogle's investment strategy is outperforming many actively managed funds even after 50 years post its inception and is expected to do so for many more decades to come. This story shows what a great genius John Bogle was and stands as a proof that it is possible to make a lot of money by working for the social good through financial empowerment of common man and that all Wall Streeters are not necessarily bad. Thanks if you have made it this far into the video and see you all again in the next video.